the thing that we are trying to do at Facebook is just help people connect and communicate more efficiently. And we think that this both has very subtle effects on, on individuals in terms of helping them build more, more trusting and empathy relationships and enrich their lives. And it also has really broad macro effects when, when you take some of these connections and, and you boil them up to something much more broad. And, you know, one example of this more recently is you know, we just launched internationally and um, it was always kind of available for, for people to use, but it was only in English until about a month ago. And we launched in Spanish for the first time on February 11th. And, um, Let's hear for Spain! <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> so, so one of the countries that has really taken off and has a significant Facebook population since we launched in Spanish is Colombia. And, and this, is, this is actually really notable because there were, there were a few people who were using it in, in English before, and then a ton of people started signing up for it in Spanish once it was available. And the first thing that people started doing was they started using the site to organize, communicate, and revolt against the guerrilla armies that were Colombia. <laughs> so, you know, I know, let just interrupt you for a second. So I know you guys need to make money because you're, you're very hyped. You have all these people. You've got this huge valuation. So I want to talk about ad stuff. Go for it. Is that cool? I kind of cut you off. You don't need to ask for permission. <laughs> kind of up here on this platform. You kind of had this hurt look like we're just talking. Did you want to finish your thought? No, go for okay. it. Okay. So, first of all, before we even talk about what you, this great innovation you guys are going to come up with and, and all that, let's talk about the ad deal with Microsoft. There's a sense that Google, Microsoft have been going around buying up this inventory in sort of an arms race, and it's because they're such big companies, it doesn't hurt them to overpay for it, but there's a sense that they're not making money off these deals because sites like Facebook, MySpace, Dig, et cetera, aren't really monetizable, um, and there's been debate on that. Can you tell us, what can you tell us about how the Microsoft deal is going? They feel they're getting their money's worth. Well, let me take a step back from that. I think what you said at the beginning of this session was actually a really important theme, I think, that, that a lot of people have focused on you know, these, some deals that we've done, valuation, all these different things. Mm -hmm. and, and I think what we've talked about so far is actually at Facebook, what we think are the important things, what we're focused right. on all the time. Right? It's, it's building this product, building this system that helps right. people communicate and connect. And everything that we do at the company, we think about through that framework. Right? Because that's our mission. That's what we're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. And in revenue growth, you know, we've decided that building a business is the most effective way for us to go about meeting our mission and achieving uh, the goals that we have in the world. So um, in terms of the Microsoft relationship that we have, the way that we think about, about monetizing and, and, and serving our users in that way and making money <coughs> is that we want the way that, that we make money to be in line with how people use the site. So what people do on the site is they, they communicate information with each other. They're, they're constantly sharing different pieces of information. If you look at someone's profile, people always list like their, their favorite music, their favorite movies different things that they're into. And a lot of that is very commercial. Right? And, and, but that, that's fine. I mean, this is people expressing their identity. Right. And the, the monetization system that, that we're trying to build is one that's very organic with what people are already doing on the site. People are, oh. Thank you. We'll get to that in a second. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're already trying to, yeah, to, um, to basically help people share this, types of in, this type of information. And if we give people enough control over this, or like complete control, and let them share the information that, that they want, then that has a significant overlap with the way that we, that we think we're going to make money on the site. Mm -hmm. The way that we've decided is going to be the most effective is for us to just go and, and build a, a business, mm -hmm. right? Because that, that allows us to attract a lot of the most talented people and build this ecosystem, and that's how we think we're going to reach our goals. But in business terms, is having a valuation like that a negative? I mean, it, it certainly, I would think it brings out a certain kind of person who wants to work at Facebook, it brings out, you know, a certain element in the valley that you've kind of been crowned the next Google, maybe it's prematurely, and now you've got to live up to this really high mark. Yeah, I mean, the high expectations are tough. I didn't tough. mean mark is a double entendre there, by the way, but it worked. But the, the, the high expectations are tough, but I, mean, but I think in general, it, it, adds, it adds a lot of positive things. But I mean, you're right, I mean, the recruiting is, is one thing that's, that's really important. We want people to be joining the company because they believe in what we're trying to do and want to be a part of that, whether it's building these types of monetization systems or building this developer platform or helping people map out who their friends are. 
and is helping them communicate with people by building different types of applications, or even just helping communicate the story around what, what we're trying to get done. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think that we've done that enough. Mm -hmm. And I mean, having such a focus on on money in the business has right. been tough for us because it can self-select for people who just care too much about that, right? And that's right. that's not where where we are as a company. So that's why we've gone out and said, you know, we're not planning on going public anytime soon, right? right? Because we don't want people to be to self-select for people who want to join the company because they think that they're going to make money very quickly. And we think that if we do well, then what we're doing can align with building a good business, and that's great. Right. right. And, and you know, I mean, the value that, that the company ends up being worth will hopefully be relatively aligned and similar to the value that we're creating in the world in terms of the platforms that we build. But revenue and the value of the company are a trailing indicator of, of the value that you're building. Right. And that's what we need to focus on. Well, I think that the ideal format will be one where people can use the applications that they want to and not use the applications that they don't want to and not be bugged by the ones that they don't want to. So giving people that level of control over the information that they get and the information that they're sharing with different applications is going to be a really important thing. We also want to remove a lot of friction that exists in platform today. So one of the issues that we see is anytime, or very frequently, if you click on something that comes from an application, you, you get taken to this dialogue to add an application. And I mean, we don't think that that's a great experience, so we're working on that. And so a lot of the removing this friction is a really important thing for us in terms of cultivating this, this platform so that, that all you guys can build great applications.